mistakes. If you have fallen victim to these, I want you to stand up. You don't control your time. Instead, you allow your time to control you. Ooh, thank you for being bold and willing to acknowledge that. Have a seat. Secondly, they haven't determined, we have not determined clear working hours in our business. So we kind of think 24 seven. All right, have a seat. Third, have not identified top income producing activities and priorities. Stand up if that is you. Okay, thank you, have a seat. I would also add that lack of boundaries in our business also exacerbates each one of those. And it is true what I said, lack of vision typically leads people um, to have lack of boundaries because they don't have clarity in what they want. So what I wanted to share with you today are a couple of quick tips on each of these aspects. The first is that when you think about that aspect of are you allowing time to control you or are you controlling your time? That is connected to your income producing activities. What you're seeing on the screen is my actual listing of income producing activities along with everything else in my business. So big rocks, little rocks, pebbles, sand, personal. Big rocks are things that only you can do and you cannot reschedule them without talking to another human being. Little rocks, only you can do and you can put them wherever they need to be on your schedule. Pebbles, support big rocks and little rocks. Sand, it's gotta get done. It could be you, it could be someone else, you could delegate it, but it needs to happen. And then your personal piece, um, your family, your friends, your workouts, your personal appointments, you account for every waking moment of your day. And that includes your eating time, your ramp up, your ramp down, and your travel. So you need to have clarity there. Next screen. So the goal is that if you're gonna control your time, you map out your time. This was my week from October 31st into November. The goal is that you know exactly what you're doing, when you're doing it, how long you're doing it, and what's happening in between. Is it perfect? No. Will you have adjustments? Yes. This is a whole process that you go through, but what I want you to see is a vision of what is possible. So with that, I want you to go to the next slide, please. I'm asking you to get into groups of two or three. Listen, I know you could be at a table, but here's the reality. You're gonna talk about less. It's easy to push off and let someone else talk versus you actually dealing with your own junk or lack of dealing with your own junk. So I'm encouraging you, get into groups of two or three and really ask yourself, where am I being reactive and not proactive? What are my business hours? And do I need boundaries around it? And then what are my three business IPAs, and no, not beer, income producing activities, and my golden hours. Let me just explain that real quickly. Golden hours are your best hours for actually building your business. If that means you're making calls, it's when you actually get people on the phone. That's a golden hour. If it means you're visiting people, it's the best time to find them at their location. That's your golden hours. So these are the three aspects that you are discussing in groups of two or three so that I... Like you are having some great discussions. Let's get it, uh, feedback from at least two people, things that you worked on. That you had up there, Elizabeth, but it gave me anxiety. It was just a lot for me. And I was telling Karen, like, my life is not like that. And she said something that I will always remember. And she said, don't confuse structure for discipline. And we talked about how I just need a little bit more discipline. I already have structure, but I just need a little bit more discipline to make it work. So thank you for that idea. Yeah, love, 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 love that. What is that? We have to be proactive in conversation to reach out to customers and try to acquire new leads. But then we can be reactive to the proactiveness that we just did or created. So getting that structure, being disciplined, that you were just proactive out of the bat, but then actually go do it and get it done. Yeah, I, I actually love both of those. So to just to say that 
That what I showed you doesn't happen overnight. And it is such a true statement that structure does not mean discipline because I have people who do that and then they totally just go off and do whatever they want to do. Like, I mean, cause seriously. And so it is important that we, we do not confuse those, um, those two, but to your point, of we need to be proactive and then if we do not have boundaries we'll end up being reactive and feeling like we need to be available 24 7 and Jason said it when we were having our conversation you create monsters of clients who think they can text you at 11 o'clock at night and then they're mad if you don't respond to them right away right so it's it's important does someone else have the microphone yes sir For me I don't have any structure and so without any structure everything just becomes reactive because there's no planning to it. So for me, I have to set time blocks where even though it's it may be like two hours worth of time of like, hey, I'm just following up or hey, I'm making initial calls or hey, this is when I'm gonna be available to do estimates versus saying, hey, when are you available to do estimates? Oh, well, what, what time do you have to do an estimate? You know, because I have no structure versus telling the customer, okay, well, I've got, you know, Thursday after between two and four or, or Friday between one and three to be able to say, hey, these are the times that I have available versus saying, hey, it's an open, open uh, map and you just plug wherever you want to be. Because that, that. That, that creates situ situations where, like I realize, like, oh, I got a meeting plan for that, that time frame and I got to move something. Yeah, we begin double booking ourselves. And has anybody had that sense of tightening of the chest, the stress that comes from that reality of re for being reactive? So let me just say this, that uh, Jillian made a comment about it's easy to get sucked into sand items. Things that are, that are, thank you, uh, things that help us feel good because we are busy. I just want to remind you, busy does not equal productivity, okay? It's a very big difference. And the amount of time you give busy work, it will always expand to fill it, period. Thanks, guys. Give her a round of applause.